What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Althexi and welcome back today to Minecraft! How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back! Just when you think it can't get any cooler, boom! Moyan come and drop a brand new snapshot. Yes, today we are checking out snapshot 18 W11A. Now, over the course of the last couple of snapshot videos, we've seen tons of new content towards the aquatic update. So, they have been putting out these snapshots so, so quickly, and each one kind of contains something new. Well, today, there's some even cooler new stuff that's been added to the oceans, which we're going to go and check out. So, we're going to go out there into the big blue beyond, because we now have new randomly generating structures. We have shipwrecks, which come three different types of shipwrecks, so we're going to try and find them all. And in those shipwrecks, there's also loot, which I don't think it's 100% like um decided what the loot is going to be but there are shipwrecks to find and there is also a brand new mob that has been added into the game called the drowned which is kind of like a drowned version of a zombie um so i haven't seen one just yet we're gonna go and see if we can find one i do have some information about them um but yeah there we go boom we're gonna pop our night vision potion on so we can actually see underwater and we're gonna go shipwreck hunting oh i actually think i see one already oh <gasps> Oh my goodness me. So yeah, I was told that, um, well, it says on the website that these shipwrecks, they can be found in a couple of different locations. So as well as being found in the oceans, they can also apparently be beached up on beaches, which sounds amazing. So imagine when you're like sort of traveling down and you see a beach, there could actually be a shipwreck, like which is sort of crashed into the shore or something. That sounds amazing. We're going to try and find one of those. I feel like they're going to be a little bit more tricky to locate, uh, but we'll have a look. So yeah, I think this is, oh, this is the first shipwreck. Now, this one is upside down, <laughs> which is really weird. I think there's like three different types. So I think a couple of them are the right way up, but sunk. This one is sort of half a boat that's been upside downed. Are there any of these new mobs? I wonder how they're going to spawn. I mean, I think maybe if there's an egg, we can spawn them in, but I would like to find one naturally. Ooh, okay, chest numero uno. So, oh. A buried treasure map, awesome, okay, uh, a clock, and some paper. So as well as the naturally spawning um, underwater ruins, which you can locate the treasure maps with, in this one, you can also find treasure maps inside the boats. I love that. There's some crazy, like, piratey themes going on with this update. I think that's the reason why I like it so much. All right, okay, so this is a fairly small shipwreck. I think there's two loot chests in total. Oh! <laughs> so there's poisonous potatoes, there's gunpowder, and there's wheat. So I think this one is maybe... Oh! oh there it is. Hey! Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh my goodness, look at you! <laughs> okay. Wow. So this is the drowned. Oh, can you hear the noises he's making? Do it again. Do it again. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hopefully you can. It's making like a weird gurgling noise. <laughs> so it's like a zombie, but kind of not at the same time. So the story behind these guys, are these are basically zombies that have drowned, which is why they're called the drowned. So I don't know if you guys watch The Walking Dead, but if you do, there's lots of different types of zombies. So like you've got the zombies that are just chilling in the streets and, you know, they're kind of like the normal manky zombies, but... Then they have some zombies that are like caught up in the swamplands and like down the sewers. And because of all the water and stuff, they go really, really sort of gross, I guess. Even more gross than a normal zombie would be. I think that's kind of like the same concept from these guys. So I do want to try it. But apparently you can actually, if you try and drown a zombie yourself, then they will transform into the drowned. Which we're going to try. I don't exactly know how to do it. But apparently as well, these guys, they can technically spawn with tridents so if you kill them they will drop the trident and then that's the way currently i think in the survival version that you actually obtain the tridents in the first place so we'll try and find one with a trident um i assume there might be a spawn egg but i have no idea uh oh man these guys are horrible i think they look good I like them a lot. So what else can we do with these guys? All drowned have a melee attack, and the ones with tridents have a ranged attack. Right, okay, so if they have tridents, they can throw them at you. <laughs> That's crazy. They spawn in oceans and rivers. So they can technically spawn in, like, the, the shallower rivers as well. So, I mean, that might be a cool way to get a trident. Um, and, yeah, I, I don't think they're loot. Apparently, there's a secret item which is going to be dropped from them. But... 
I'm not too sure if they're going to be dropping it right now. So, oh. Yeah, it's just rotten flesh for now, isn't it? Yeah, okay, cool. So, uh, wow, so we found one shipwreck and we also found the brand new mob. Let's go and see if we can find another shipwreck because there's some different types of them, I think. Oh, wait, were we just here? Yeah, this is the one we just saw, wasn't it? Okay, 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 let me go, let me go uh, this way. Hmm, okay, so another upside down one. Uh, I just thought we'd maybe bust open a couple of these guys and sort of see what the loot is. So this one is another one that's upside down. We've got another treasure map in these. So both of the boats that are spawned upside down, they've both contained treasure. Ooh. Hey, that's a bit better, isn't it? Look at that. So a ton of iron nuggets, a load of emeralds, lapis, gold, a diamond. Because why not, right? Well, that's a much better one. So the other one was full of, like, what, poisonous potatoes? But that one actually does contain some really good things. So I think this is kind of a bit of a theme with this. It's that if you can get geared up and if you have the necessary things to go and survive in the ocean, you can get some really, really good loot. I mean, wow, there's shipwrecks everywhere. I feel like there's probably slightly too many so close. Oh, wow, look at this. There's another upside down one. I think I saw one that was the right way up just then. So let me, uh, let me just bust in here. Let's see what we can find. Another treasure map. Okay, I think they might need to tone down <laughs> the amount of shipwrecks that are spawning at the moment. There's so many. But, okay, some more random loot. I want to go over here, though. Check this out. Hang on. If we go over in this direction, I think there is a shipwreck that is the right... Ooh! <gasps> Look! He spawned the right around! Yeah! Oh, my goodness me. Doesn't he look cool? Turn around this way, buddy. Come on. Come on. Yeah! So he does spawn with a trident. Well, there you have it. There is your trident wielding... Oh, God. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> oh, they jump. Oh, there's more. Whoa, there's low. Oh, it's because it's getting nighttime, isn't it? Is that the reason why they're, like, increased spawning? So the other one spawned in the daytime, but it seems like as soon as the sun is coming down... They probably have an increased chance of spawning. They look so cool, though. So, for example, here, if we grab ourselves a sword, we try and take this dude out. Um, will he drop his trident? Hey! He didn't drop it. Aww. <laughs> unless, unless they have to, like, throw them. Hang on, wait a sec, wait a sec. Let's see what happens if we uh, go into survival mode and we go near these guys. So they track us. Okay, cool. So these two didn't have a trident. There was another one here somewhere that had a trident. Oh, I think he's over there. So if we if we swim over to him... Um, is this the fastest we can swim? I think so. Okay, is he going to throw it at us? We'll soon find out, won't we? Oh! Ow! Ow! Oh, he threw it! Oh! Oh, look at that! They're throwing tridents at me! <laughs> no way! Oh my goodness me, they're really powerful. So I've just got standard diamond armor on right now, no enchantments whatsoever. I've just got a water breathing potion on just to kind of give you a rough idea of how much damage they're doing. Wow, these guys are actually going to be super tough. Okay, 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 hang on. Oh. <laughs> okay. They're really strong. Oh my goodness. Ah, look, 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 look. We found another. Um. Wow, this one's like full. Hey, look at this bad boy. So this is one of the pirate ships, but it's like one of the pirate ships that hasn't broken up into pieces. Um, that looks cool, doesn't it? So I guess this might be... I'm not sure if this is the second or the third one, because we've seen two different upside down ones, but they've had different loot. This seems like more of a full one. And okay, it's got some pretty decent loot in it. It's got some emeralds, some nuggets. I think the main thing, though, is that because these contain the treasure maps, that's where you're going to get most of your cool money from. Uh, well, your diamonds and your emeralds and all that stuff. Uh, let's go and have a little look in here. Oh, another chest with a buried treasure map. Okay, so once again, another treasure map. There's another chest here. Okay, so this is a three chest one. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so a pumpkin. We've got some random leather gear, which is enchanted. Uh, some gunpowder, some normal potatoes, and some coal. So strange. I mean, the loot is really weird, but... I just, I love these. I just love them. I think they're great. Huh. Okay. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, there's a couple more things that I want to have a go at. Apparently, they've also added a new type of coral, uh, which isn't naturally spawning just yet, but we can actually spawn it in. But just before we do that, I want to see if I can find 
a shipwreck which is up on the coast. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Um, another boat. Oh, this is like a, a dark oak boat. I wonder if this is what they mean by the third type. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just full of, full of decent loot, though. Ah, here we go. So I think, unfortunately, the one that we found is an upside down one. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it to be like, you know, um, the right way up. So it looked like an actual shipwreck. But the one that we found is technically on the beach, kind of. Um, but yeah, you can actually get in some from dry land as well. So, I mean, we'll have a little look. Uh, oh, geez. So, yeah, once again, same kind of loot. We've got a load of iron nuggets, emeralds, diamond gold as well. There's probably a second chest buried in here somewhere. Um, where that is exactly though, I'm not too sure. There's a hatch here. Yeah, look at that. So I guess we can confirm that they are actually spawning sort of on the beaches. Uh, this one is a bit weird, but I mean, I guess you could just kind of follow the coast. That's what I tried to do and it, it didn't really take me too long to find one. Uh, but I think that's really cool. It's just another reason to go exploring into the ocean. Um, and yeah, I love the fact that you can get tons of loot. So if you want to risk that, if you want to go down, if you want to deal with the drowned, you'll be able to get lots of diamonds, emeralds, iron, gold, all that good stuff. And oh yeah, these secret items. They keep mentioning that they're going to be adding secret items. We don't know what they are just yet, but I'm sure they're going to be pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Is it another one of those weird houses? Yeah, <laughs> I like these ones. Oh, this is a new one. I don't think I've seen this one before. Wow. Okay. So this is like roughly the location where I found um, the treasure map in. Yeah. So it's like the, the big taller buildings I tend to find have like, like treasure maps in them each time. This is like a proper full village. I've never seen one spawn quite so cleanly. Look at that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight buildings here. Huh. Yeah, that's the cleanest spawn that I've seen. It looks it looks so cool. <laughs> oh, oh, there's kind of another building there as well, I guess. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Okay, so, um, oh, yeah. Aha. So this is the new thing that they've added. They're called Coral Fans. So what we'll do is we'll place... Oh. What? I was told they could be placed. Uh, can... You can place it on the side of a coral. Oh, no way. Can you? <laughs> ah, okay, there we go. So, uh, for some reason, I thought we could do it outside the water if it was still touching. Uh, we can't. So you have to do it underwater, I think. Uh, which kind of makes more sense, to be honest. Okay, I get it. So, the normal corals are vertical. And the coral fans are just like the horizontal ones. And you know what? I think they look really nice. So it's going to be another cool thing. Like, we saw the, the coral reefs last time around and they were nice they're a little bit messy right now but they still look nice however if you've got like these sideways corals as well yeah, i think they're i think they're really cool I, I really like the fans i was thinking i was trying to do it here because i was like well if you could actually do it on the side of these like they don't stick to the side of coral blocks what if we just did like a normal sand would it stick to that no i think it needs to be underwater yeah, I think it needs to be underwater. Um, but yeah, check that out. So these are the coral fans that they've added in this one. Very, very cool. I think the final thing that I want to try here is I want to try the uh, the zombie to to drown thing. So if we just grab some, some normal zombies, is there a spawn egg for them? Yeah, there is. Spawn the drown. There you go. Um, see, I just want to, I want to try this out and see what we can do. So if we grab ourselves um, a night vision potion, let's try and find somewhere that's relatively deep but not too deep uh oh this is perfect okay right in here so i'm kind of confused by how these work so this is this is your normal oh hang on this is your normal drown so if i spawn a load of zombies underneath here let's give this a go let's see let's see how long it takes so if i do that in theory what it says is that they should turn into drown when they drown how long does a zombie take to drown i have no idea Oh, you see that? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's the coolest thing ever, man. Wow, so that took maybe, I don't know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that. But even zombies that, you know, some of them some of them spawn with the tridents, others don't. Oh, 
the gurgling is so weird. I really like this mob. I think this mob is cool. I love the way that it transforms, like boom. Straight from the zombies, they turn into the drowned, like instantly. And I guess, like, as you play Minecraft, some zombies might wander into the water. They might sort of drown themselves, I guess. Some will spawn naturally. Technically, what you could do is you could drown them yourselves and you could turn them into these guys and then you could use them to farm tridents. Which is another interesting little feature which I just thought of. I'm sure someone will work out some kind of rig to do that. Um, but yeah, amazing. Are you guys going to drop one of these tridents? No, you didn't drop one. Or did you? Did they float? Hmm, I'll try one more. Get out of here, get out of here! Whoop, whoop, whoop! No, I think the trident dropping is actually pretty rare. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is probably going to be about it for this episode. So, as you can see, these guys appear to be able to survive on land as well. Um, but yeah, so we have seen the Drowned, the new mob, which is kind of like a zombie hybrid version of the existing zombie, I guess. But kind of ties into more ocean style exploring which i think is really cool i like that uh we've also seen the shipwrecks uh we've managed to loot a few of those as well we kind of see what loot is in them right now although that may change uh, and we've also seen the coral fans which i think is about it for this update in terms of new features so yeah thank you very much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did then please remember to poke me in that like button and if you are not yet subscribed go for it because we do minecraft done fun but until next time thank you once again for watching it's been such a pleasure as always thanks right up.